Hello everyone, welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2. So right now, uh, well, we're gonna head over to um, Jose and John. But before we do that, I'm gonna go down to the gun store. I'll grab my guns, you know. Or buy some. Either those two options. Alright, let's see what we have in stock. Like the revolvers. So let's upgrade their damages too. A volcanic pistol down on the other hand. That's probably that. Fine choice. Components it increases grip. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice. Right, I don't have to do all that. Really make a sing. We can at least increase the barrel too. The accuracy is also way. increased. Rifling, improve it. I can put some sights on that if you're interested. Now this increases ammunition. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Okay, we got enough ammo. Never mind. Skullfall revolver. You can always come back for the But the common revolver to some very discerning customers. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. Good. You don't say good sir. Oh, I could buy a secondary. I have one myself. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Never knew about that. Buy a secondary one. All right. Okay, we're done fully upgrading all these guns so far we have. Now we're gonna head on back to Jose. Can't shut him off now because no violence in here. Gonna head on back. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention I upgraded the camp too. I carry a purchase of weapons, your previous firearms have been slowed on your horse. That just happened. All right, let's go. Easy, easy. Yep, fully upgraded. Ranger rifle that's fully um powerful. Hey, hello, Jose. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must. Have someone to sell it to. Stuff look kind of lonely out here. 
I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good Looks like John's not coming Thank with us. John. We'll see you later. Yeah. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. Do you think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Hey, yes, sirs. Looking house, though. What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax. I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? For real, though. Pay the man. Getting shot for a freaking liquor. Crazy man. No business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Gonna bring the saloon go. some liquor. Moonshine. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Oh, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. Thanks for a cut. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with... The sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. 
You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's... Idiot... Brother. Jose, <laughs> I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just... Look... Sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. Idiot clown, brother. Like it. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward, just a bit. Squint. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Ah, yeah, uh, no, it feels awkward for Arthur. Back it on up. A little spot. There we go. I'll keep it and stay calm now. Her mama, she loved you so. <laughs> just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> I'll put that this moonshine. And take it inside. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> he killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. All right, let's do our thing. I served these good folks some liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Oh, <laughs> thing. I shunned the heck out of her. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your luck today. I'll have one, Benton. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin. I love a gift. That's some strong stuff. I see a gift for us. I know how it tastes back then. Hey, easy, pal. Take it easy. Be patient. <laughs> Everyone going crazy now. Everything, buddy. Oh man. Uh, Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in, have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh crap. You got my guns with me? Oh, I don't got my volcanic rifles. Uh, I'm tripping. Rifles. Pistols. Oh my god. So fast. Thank God I upgrade my guns. I brought some new ammo. I wish I had my rifles though. That would've been nice. That was all clear.
That was close for him. Oh, shoot. Got our guns now. At the big deal. Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. That's what I'm going to do. Beat the German. These guys just don't give up, won't they? Almost shot that guy right there. That was fun. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more crazy, than isn't it? another gang on their patch. Okay. All over first on liquor. I like the white horse, I like the white horse though. Set us up. No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, this is a weird location. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. Yeah, I have not paid like a, a single freaking dollar in that, that chest. Happened. So maybe only now, like one time and that was it. Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as well let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. I have upgraded the camp though. So what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody going to know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are going to kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. 
<laughs> we got to convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. <sighs> well, like Arthur said, binge is a fool's game. All right, then. Well, let's see what we're going to choose to do next. <clears throat> let's touch the meal with Jose and see at the Bravely Manor while they integrate themselves. John Marston. Let's tell you meal with John and if you're at Grace Police. Something to do with Bravely is prize horses. I guess we'll go to Jose. We'll do that first. Let's go collect some health tonics from here. I'm gonna need some. I don't think I ever used like a single health. Maybe I did. I'm only 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 one. Hello, Uncle. Arthur, stay away from me. Oh, but, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Never comes when the need. I'll shoot the horses all the way away. Oh, here he is. Gee. All right, let's go on to Jose. Yeah. I think you hear a possum. Yeah, this game does have a lot of species and a lot of critters out here. A lot of animals, which I like. I hope GTA 6 will have something like that, where they have a lot of animals all over the world. Again, like they can make it just like Red Dead. With the up to date you know, type stuff, like the engine and everything. These are same type of tech, tech and now. Uh, dang. I guess this was some talk. But uh, I'll talk to him later. Howdy! Hey there! Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. Uh, poor guy. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but... I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but 
one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. I was how to... Can I drive? No. <sighs> I'm driving this thing. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I shoved that silver spoon down his throat and pulled it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. Not I thinking is how about why try fitting my boot up your hook No, just snotty hell, bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right feller for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flat as a... One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weight still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Now go to wreck the wagon. Just leave it to me. We can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. All right, we're almost there. We got all this moonshine. This liquor makes me want to have some. Change out this point of view and look around. Hold him right there. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a ting, a, a, a ting, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. <clears throat> Uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> that went well. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> 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 I 
Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, uh, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one. <laughs> Do <they? laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses. Uh, out in got the scarred. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money they can build quite the fanciest places <coughs> all right how you getting on good nearly got these things ready okay Guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rain, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. And do it stealthily. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. already arrived this one didn't strange so what you got there tools payroll okay drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah let's get this job done first okay we'll take care of this fella You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That's good, douse this fields. Moonshine. Hiding among tobacco plants, guards will not be able to see you as easily. That's done. And it's a perfectly good moonshine to get a least. Should be enough for here. I'm gonna get to the other side.
So far, so good. I'm not sure I should cross right now because I'm not sure that guy's gonna turn around. Alright, just two more. That was a close one. If anyone's out there, you better show yourself. That was close. The burns in the back though. We'll hold this one up. You get those fears properly gone. You ain't leaving here. No, I'm spreading across. I don't want to do another bottle because I don't want to waste it. Gotta let the fire spread for a bit. Okay, we need just one more. We've got some horses from the stables. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. Where are these bastards coming from? We need to have a summon another side. Horses are freaking out. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing. Look out! There's more of them! There goes our right out of here. No dang's gone.
with my deadlight coming like fire ants. Gotta be worth it. Taking this one. Almost running the fire there. Never mind, he got the shot. That guy's horse just jumped over it. My horse can just run straight through that thing. Just put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Ah, uh, sure, why not? You look at that. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. This is the perfect timing because I think Dutch wanted to talk to us. Might as well take the link, it's a little fast travel. Man, I'm filthy. Arthur, Arthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until <laughs> we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Got the mission there already. That was conversation. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Right to Shelling's location. Where are we going? Yeah, 
Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hold up a second. Let's take a shortcut. That was a little failed location. Nice jumping. Yeah, can I use weapons here? And Lonnie's cavern. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. Nothing here. Call. Check the house. You see anything there? There's some yep. blood here. That ain't good. Like the next clue. Looks like he left in a hurry. Check the bed. He's not made, so he must have been here recently. A big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Hmm. They went down the path here. The father's tracks. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, I've been doing a lot of hunting. Tracking skills are still good. I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No, normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight. I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. Wow. See? He must have crossed over the track. Oh. I think the tracks lead this way. I heard you, sister. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. Problems. Where's my boy Trelawney? Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Where? Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. 
Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Get out of here. Let me see you again. You hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, though. Okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. Be you done. think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? <sighs> kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straight. I don't want really to talk too much. Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting okay, this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. That was sort of looking nice, too. I need to walk in like in a lake or something, man. My outfit is like ah, freaking it. dirty. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. I'll have some fun with these guys. Don't deal with them, my brothers. Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in the fields. Missed the bird stuff. Came from somewhere. Where are you? They're behind you. Shit. They're gonna get away. Let's find them. You wait till I find you. I heard something this way. Oh, there you go.
Mr. Birds. They be coming from that way. Take some stuff for stamina. Getting exhausted. He can't have gone far. He's mine! Let me take him. I'll get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Nice to Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Oh, shoot. Something happened over there. The gunshots are coming from that bomb. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Like Let's check on Trelawney. Now, Our luck's held this long. We got out of Let's worse scrapes than this one. You okay? <laughs> Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course... They didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Missions report. Just a couple new missions. No one needs to speak to you. I also got Mike and Bill. Also needs to speak to me. Things are far here. I need to go to John Marston. But I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.